Hello again, my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance personnel. Your host is always Hai Sam Ali, and I'm an aviation technical instructor. Welcome to my aviation nuggets for today. Today I'm going to complete my sessions on ATA 35 for the Airbus A320 oxygen system for the Airbus A320. Okay, so in the last session or uh, part one, we start to examine the three types of oxygen system and we say that we have cockpit crew oxygen system which comprise of a high pressure gas cylinder in the avionics compartment and the chemical generators for the passenger oxygen system and also we have a portable gas cylinder for emergency situation and the medical situation as well as the smoke hood or the portable breathing equipment and we start in part one to explain the high pressure gas cylinder supply for the crew oxygen system cabin uh, sorry cockpit crew oxygen system so we say that everybody is that we do have an oxygen cylinder in the avionics compartment and it supply high pressure oxygen to the flight crew quick donning mask and we have a maximum of four masks in the cockpit these masks are located in the side console on the left of the captain and the right of the first officer okay and we do say that regarding the oxygen cylinder we have a direct reading pressure gauge and the manual on off valve that allows the maintenance people to replace the oxygen cylinder and we do have a pressure regulator transmitter assembly that reduce the pressure from the high pressure gas cylinder to a reasonable pressure to be supplied through the supply valve to the crew quick donning mask. Supply valve here is controlled from the cockpit crew supply push button located on the oxygen panel. On the oxygen panel. Okay. Also, everybody, we say that for the oxygen cylinder, we have a protection against an over pressure that may occur in a high pressure or low pressure high pressure or low pressure circuit in any case the high pressure gas cylinder has an over pressure scenario we must allow the oxygen to be vented overboard so during walk around my fellow pilot or my fellow maintenance engineer you need to find this this green desk on the fuselage if you cannot find this green desk under the legend of oxygen discharge and you only find the yellow discharge indicator that is a, a, a clue of an over pressure happen to the oxygen cylinder this over pressure may happen at the level of high pressure circuit or low pressure circuit Again, high pressure over pressure protection or high pressure circuit and low pressure over pressure. The high pressure uh, uh, over pressure protection is composed of a frangible desk. Okay, and the low pressure over pressure protection is located on the pressure regulator transmitter assembly. Pressure regulator transmitter assembly. Okay, everybody. So, Let's proceed. The overpressure is vented overboard. We must allow the overpressure, uh, or in any case, an overpressure happened to the oxygen cylinder. This oxygen must be vented overboard. We cannot allow a ventilation or a high pressure protection to the oxygen cylinder to happen inside the avionics compartment or inside the fuselage this will be a very high risk scenario and a fire may propagate due to this event okay everybody so an over pressure must be vented overboard if you cannot find this green desk and you only find this is yellow discharge indicator it is a clue and the meaning is that there is an over pressure happening maybe from the high pressure circuit or maybe from the low pressure circuit the high pressure circuit composed of a frangible desk and the low pressure circuit composed of a pressure relief valve everybody pressure relief valve thanks to the pressure regulator transmitter assembly it sends the pressure of the cylinder on the ecam door oxy page 
and this pressure is an indication to the dispatch condition so what about the minimum dispatch pressure for the oxygen cylinder it is depend on the number of cockpit crew that will fly the aircraft is it differ between two crew or three crew or four crew yes if we have a less crew like only two cockpit crew a captain and the first officer only so we may have a less pressure than uh, uh, needed maybe if the cockpit today will accommodate three cockpit crew or four cockpit crew okay everybody okay very good so let's uh, proceed the oxygen pressure condition is indicated on the door oxy page as you can see here door oxy page and this is the oxygen pressure condition minimum dispatch pressure is monitored from here this is the upper e cam door oxy page upper e cam door oxy page okay everybody very good okay so the pilot's oxygen mask are located in a storage box on both side console what is the name of this mask everybody it is a quick donning mask what is meant by quick donning mask using only one hand the cockpit crew can uh, install and can release the oxygen regulator or oxygen mask okay everybody thanks to these re red grips okay so each quick donning mask everybody has an inflation harness that when you press on the red grips when you press on the red grips okay an oxygen supply to the inflation harness and this harness will inflate you can easily using one hand and store it in your face okay everybody or donate on your face and also when you press on the red grips oxygen will inflate the harness so you can easily release the quick donning mask okay everybody so this oxygen mask is called quick donning mask and we have four quick donning mask inside the cockpit of the airbus a320 two located on the side left side console and two are located on the right side console on the right side console so everybody is a pilot's oxygen mask are located in a storage box on both side console and each quick donning mask everybody has a pressure regulator or a regulator assembly this regulator assembly everybody consists of red inflation grips or red grips again red inflation grips this red inflation grips everybody allow for quick donning and quick release quick donning and quick release okay when you press on the red inflation grips oxygen is going into the inflation harness allow the user using only one hand to don the mask or uh, to install the mask on his face and release the mask also it do have a manual sorry normal and 100 percent selector normal and 100 percent selector and also do have an emergency over pressure knob emergency over pressure knob so what is the function of the normal 100% selector and what is the function of the emergency over pressure knob normal 100% selector everybody allows the wearer to breathe either a mixture of cabin air plus oxygen coming from the cylinder or pure oxygen coming from the cylinder normal position allows the wearer to breathe a mixture of cabin air and oxygen coming from the cylinder and hard uh, sorry and 100 percent position allows the wearer to breathe 100 percent oxygen coming from the cylinder coming from the cylinder so it depends on the situation so if we don't have a smoke inside the cockpit we may breathe a normal supply or or we can put the this selector on a normal selection 
But in another case, if we do have a smoke in the cockpit, we cannot allow a mixture coming from cabin air with the oxygen coming from the cylinder. So we put the selector on 100%. In that case, the wearer will only press uh, 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 pure oxygen supply from the gas cylinder. Pure oxygen supply from the gas cylinder. And what about the emergency over pressure knob? Emergency over pressure knob. This knob, when you select it on an emergency, the wearer will breathe oxygen or a mixture of cabin air and oxygen under positive pressure supply. Okay? Without emergency knob, the breathing will depend on the inhale and exhale of the wearer. But what about if the cockpit crew or one of the cockpit crew suffer from incapacitation and the other pilot don't know if his colleague is can he can breathe easily or not so he will install or he will put the mask on his uh, 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 friend face and put the emergency over pressure knob on the emergency selection so a positive supply of oxygen will go into the lung of the wearer without depending on inhale and exhale process. Without depending on an inhale or exhale process. Okay, everybody? So, let's see here. So, as you can see here, everybody, to use the mask, the crew member squeezes the red grips, these red inflation grips, to pull the mask out of the box. And this action causes the mask harness which is an inflation harness, oxygen inflation harness, to inflate, to put the mask on. So this mean allows the mask to be a quick donning mask. So only using one hand, the wearer can don and extract the mask from his face. Okay, everybody? Okay, very good. So with the mask in position and the red grips released, the oxygen mask will be supplied with oxygen. Okay, everybody? So with the mask in position and the red grips released, the oxygen mask will be supplied with oxygen. Okay. And on the mask, everybody, as you can see here, and as we say early, earlier, a mask-mounted regulator supplies a mixture of air and oxygen Mixture of air and oxygen, thanks to the normal position of the selector. Or pure oxygen, thanks to for the 100% selection of the selector. Or gives emergency pressure control. Or gives emergency pressure control. Okay, everybody, thanks for the emergency over pressure knob. So, everybody, normal 100% selector and emergency over pressure knob is used to supply oxygen different scenario no smoke we can use normal selection smoke in the cockpit 100 percent selection okay everybody emergency over pressure knob may be used to give a positive supply of oxygen under all cases and under all cabin altitudes under all cabin altitudes okay everybody okay so as you can see here everybody with the regulator set to normal the user breathes a mixture of cabin air and oxygen normal mixture of cabin air and oxygen normal mixture of cabin air and oxygen up to the cabin altitude at which the regulator supplies 100 percent oxygen okay everybody so we cannot only use or breathe a mixture of cabin air and oxygen there is another altitude in that case the wearer must breathe 100 percent supply oxygen be because he cannot allow to breathe a mixture of cabin air and oxygen okay everybody so again as you can see here with the regulator set to normal the user breathes a mixture of cabin air and oxygen up to the cabin altitude at which the regulator supplies 100% oxygen. So from this statement, we understand that normal selection depending on altitude. Only the wearer can breathe a mixture of cabin air and oxygen until certain cabin altitude. After that altitude, 
the wearer must put the selector on 100% so that in that case he can only press pure oxygen supply from the oxygen cylinder from the oxygen cylinder okay everybody okay very good so the user can select 100% in that case the regulator supply pure oxygen at all cabin altitude Again, the user can select 100%. In that case, the regulator supply pure oxygen at all cabin altitude. And all with 100% may be used in case of a heavy smoke inside the cockpit. In case of a heavy smoke inside the cockpit. Okay, everybody? Okay. Very good. So, depending on the situation, the user can use the emergency rotating knob and receive a maximum of oxygen or with the, the button breast and the oxygen system can be tested also oxygen system can be tested also from the emergency over pressure okay, everybody okay so also on the regulator a microphone is installed in the mask and a flow blinker flashes when there is an oxygen flow this is the blinker flow meter Okay, a flow blinker flashes when there is an oxygen flow. When there is an oxygen flow. Okay, everybody? Okay, so I will stop here for today. And please stay tuned for an oxygen system part 3. This was oxygen system of the Airbus A320 part 2. I need to tell you this is only for training borbs. And this is not an official training. It is a performance added value for you my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance personnel. From Cairo, Egypt, your host was Haysam Ali and I'm an aviation technical instructor. Please stay tuned for an upcoming sessions like this. Thank you and goodbye.